Oracle database world. This is Justin, and in this Oracle database YouTube video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to drop or delete or remove whatever you want to say and a job from the Oracle database DBMS underscore scheduler um, package. Now, um, the Oracle database has a scheduler which comes with it by default called the DB DBMS underscore scheduler. Okay, and this is a package or utility, um, if you will, which allows you to schedule a job and have it run. So schedule an action to run against the Oracle database to run unattended. Okay, you don't have to be there to do it. Okay, it can run in an automated fashion. So if you wanted to insert data into a table every night at midnight, you have two options. You can log on to the database every night at midnight and issue the insert command, or you can act, or you can um, have the Oracle database do it for you. Okay, now, in this example, we already created a job via the create underscore job PLS2L procedure, which is a part of the DBMS underscore scheduler PLS2L package. And to see us um, and to see us create that job, view my video how to create a job using the um, DBMS scheduler. Okay, video. All right, so let's go ahead and let's uh, set our Oracle SID to finance. Let's make sure we're set properly. SID. And let's connect to our Oracle database via SQL Plus. Now we do a show user to verify that we're connected as a SysDBA user, which we are. And we type in select name from the dollar sign database to ensure we're connected to the right database, which we are finance. Now, as I mentioned before, I had a job which issue which executed the um a procedure, an Oracle program that I wrote called um, insert names. Okay. And, um, and it already ran. Okay. And uh, it's in the DBMS. It's in this, the, the, the view I'm about to show you. Okay. The view knows about it. All right. So if I were to type in select space job underscore name from job underscore name from DBA underscore scheduler jobs. I will see that there's a job called insert into names one. Okay, this is a job that I created. And if I were to type in select job underscore name, uh, comma, status from DBA underscore scheduler underscore jobs, where job underscore name is equal to insert into names one. Okay. Oops. I will see that job, a job named insert into names one succeeded, has a state of success. Okay. Now I want to drop this job from the table. I, there's no reason to keep it in the Oracle database anymore. Okay. To keep it in this, this, this view right here, DBA underscore scheduler underscore jobs, shows you all the jobs that are scheduled in this Oracle internal scheduler, okay, for, for an Oracle database. So any user in this Oracle database who scheduled a job, it will be shown in this table. But since this job has ran, I want to go ahead and drop it. And to do that, you use the, you use the drop underscore job procedure that's in the DBMS underscore scheduler package. So when you type in, you see that the job is in the table, it's in the DBA, DBA underscore scheduler underscore jobs view. Okay, so now we do begin. We're going to execute the DBA un, M, DBMS underscore scheduler package, PLS tool package, and the, the, um, the procedure that's in that package called drop underscore um, job. And then we're going to give it the name of the job. Insert into names one. Make sure you're dropping the right job. Some companies could have hundreds and hundreds of jobs named similar, in a, uh, named similarly that do different things for the business. Okay, adjust account, uh, adjust interest rates on bank accounts, or does uh, pay raises for employee salaries. Who knows what it does? Okay, so just d double check and be sure what you're doing. And we end our procedure, and we close it out with a um, forward slash. Okay, so. 
we do begin and we say, we say we want to execute the drop underscore PLSQL procedure, which is in the DBMS underscore schedule or PLSQL package. And we want to drop insert into names one job. There it is. And there was a previous job and you can see that succeeded. Okay. Oops. Sorry, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> In BMS scheduler. Okay, and there we go. Okay, PLS QL procedure successfully completed. Now, when we type in select job name state from DBA scheduler jobs, where job name equals insert into names one, we will see no rows selected. And if we just do select job underscore name from DBA scheduler underscore scheduler underscore jobs, you'll see that only the default jobs that that are created automatically via the Oracle database installation. When you create a database, it automatically does these. These are internal jobs that clean up the Oracle database, okay, and do internal database work that the database needs done on a regular basis. We don't see our job insert into names one anymore because we deleted it, we dropped it using the drop underscore job procedure, which is in the DVMS underscore scheduler package. Okay, so that's how you drop a job that was scheduled to run via the uh, Oracle database internal scheduler.